What does TC stand for anyway? Good morning, YouTube! What's up, guys? Hope you're safe and healthy and doing okay. Today, I'm really excited because I'm giving you my full review of the New Balance Fuel Cell TC. Finally! this shoe was going to be the answer to the Vaporfly. It was going to be New Balance's racer that was lightweight, had an awesome carbon fiber plate feel, and was just going to kill the Vaporflies. I think when a lot of people opened the box and took the shoe out and felt the weight of it and kind of looked at this suede heel counter thing, they were like, what is this shoe? What is it meant for? It's too heavy to be a racer and it feels too minimal to be your everyday trainer. And then maybe they were like, I don't know what to use this shoe for, forget it. Let's just use the Vaporfly. But I think it's really important to know that this isn't exactly a racing flat and it's not exactly a daily trainer. The TC can be used for all of those things. It's not just the shoe that you lace up for race day. It's the shoe that you can lace up for race day, but you can also do those tempo workouts in. You got me? If you're unfamiliar with my full reviews, let me give you a rundown. First, we go over the specs, then the upper, the midsole, the outsole, and then my conclusions of the shoe. I'll rate it out of five stars, so if it's the best shoe I've ever worn and that's it for me, I'm retiring from YouTube and that's the only shoe I'm ever gonna wear for the rest of time, then it's gonna be five stars. And if it's the worst shoe I've ever worn, I'm gonna throw it in the trash, I'm never gonna think about it ever again, it's gonna be one star. Then at the end, I'll throw up a screen with the pros and the cons so you can get a visual idea of what I liked and disliked. So enough of that, let's start talking about the TC. The Fuel Cell TC is 7.3 ounces for a women's size 8, but for my big foot, size 10.5 women's, it is 9.1 ounces. The TC has a drop of 10 millimeters with 36 millimeters in the heel and 26 in the forefoot. And for all of you who are going to wonder, yes, for me, the shoe fits true to size. The Fuel Cell TC uses a synthetic mesh, which is breathable and lightweight, along with some suede in the collar of the heel and around the eyelets of the shoe. There's also this dot printed New Balance logo here, which I don't think there's any function to it just for design, but it looks nice. So the upper of the shoe is interesting to me. I feel like we start out in the front here by the forefoot and kind of in the midfoot with like a racing flat type of upper. It's really breathable, it's really thin. And then as we kind of go backwards into the shoe by the heel, we have this really sturdy and stable heel counter and a little bit more material and it starts to kind of look a little bit like a daily trainer. As far as the material goes, the upper is made out of, I didn't have any problems with hot spots or breathability or issues like that. In fact, around the forefoot and midfoot, I felt dialed in and snug without feeling claustrophobic. And while it doesn't have a pull tab, it does have this flare outward and we'll give them that. But there are a couple things about the upper that I didn't really like. The tongue is really thin and it's kind of short. So it was slipping inside of this shoe every single time I ran, especially in the left foot. I noticed 
my tongue would be all the way down here. No matter how much I cinched the laces down and whatever kind of sock, thin, thick, didn't matter, it would always slide down or fall to the side and I didn't really like that. I feel like this shoe is really nicely done, a solid premium shoe, but the tongue kind of feels like an afterthought to me. Another thing to note about the Fuel Cell TC is that it's pretty narrow. Like I always say, I have a narrow foot, so I didn't really have any problems, but it's not all about me and my problems. It could be about you and your wide foot, and if you're trying to get into the TC, you might not be so comfortable. It kind of creates a lack of stability, which we'll get to a little bit later. Other than that, over the course of 50 miles, I haven't seen much wear. There's no seam splitting. There's no holes in the upper. It's not bad. The midsole of the TC is comprised of New Balance's fuel cell midsole foam, as well as a carbon fiber plate for some extra propulsion. This shoe has some serious spring. Like I mentioned in my first run impressions video, when I first put this shoe on my foot, I immediately felt that springy bounce back in the foam. And it's no different when you're running. New Balance says this is just fuel cell foam, but I gotta believe that they've done something different to this midsole material here to make it just a little bit softer and a little more responsive because I've run in the Fuel Cell Rebel and I've run in the Fuel Cell Propel. And the foam is great, but it doesn't feel like this. This this feels this is a whole different beast. The Fuel Cell foam is incredibly soft and that carbon fiber plate just bounces you, propels you forward, and your stride feels kind of effortless. I'm able to hit paces in this shoe that are a little bit more difficult to hit in just your standard trainer. The forefoot feels slightly firmer than the heel, which is normal. I mean, this is where the carbon fiber plate is kind of pushing you forward. And there's a lot more fuel cell material in the heel. It's not hard by any means, but it does feel a little bit firmer after a couple miles. There is one big negative for me, unfortunately, in the midsole of the TC. And that, my friends, is instability. Now, I know that this is not a stability shoe. I know it's a neutral shoe. I'm fully aware of that. However, this shoe has some serious instability problems for me. I don't know if it's a combination of the shoe being narrow with this flare outward here on the lateral side of the midfoot and the high stack height of the shoe. Maybe it's all of those things put together. But I'll tell you one thing, when my foot hits the concrete in this shoe, it goes all the way this way. Luckily for me, the rolling inward of my ankle doesn't really bother me, but it might bother somebody else and it's not fair that they want to try a shoe like this with a carbon fiber plate and they can't because there's no stability at all. And if you turn the shoe over, you can see it's wide in the forefoot, but then it gets incredibly narrow around here. Maybe if we just extended that a little bit further out, it wouldn't be so bad. I don't know, just a suggestion. With all that said, the spring and the bounce of this shoe is kind of unmatched other than the Vaporfly. I also haven't had any problems with durability on this foam. It's remained the same way it felt on my first run, which is great because if you look at other carbon fiber plated shoes, their lifespan really isn't that long and 50 miles would do a lot to those shoes. And I don't find any problems here, so that's a huge plus. As far as the outsole goes of the TC, we have rubber covering the forefoot into the midfoot, and then some exposed fuel cell foam with two patches of rubber in the heel. I've been really digging the outsole of this shoe. I love the blue rubber. It's tacky, it grips onto the surfaces really well, whether they're wet, dry, gravelly, what have you it's been fine. The traction pattern also hasn't worn out within the 50 miles that I've taken the shoe. And also surprisingly enough, the exposed fuel cell foam here in the outsole really hasn't deteriorated too much. Maybe a tiny bit of fraying, but not too bad. I can foresee getting a lot of miles out of this outsole. This is definitely one of my favorite shoes so far in 2020. I have genuinely enjoyed picking this up day after day, putting in the miles, whether it's five, three, seven, what have you, I really, really like this shoe. And I think it's so great because of its versatility. On New Balance's website, it says that this shoe is fast enough for sprints and durable enough for marathons, and I'd have to agree with them there. And for that reason, I'm giving the New Balance Fuel Cell TC four out of five stars. I had some issues with it, of course, but overall I think this is a really high performance shoe that can benefit people doing all kinds of distances. 
On runningwarehouse.com, the New Balance Fuel Cell TC is $199.95. And a lot of you are probably like, oof, forget it. But hear me out here. For a shoe that feels like the Nike Vaporfly, which is $250, mind you, that can do anything from 5Ks to marathons, anything in between, you name it, the TC can do it. I kind of think $199.95 is a, is a good deal. If you're interested in picking up a pair of the Feel Cell TC, Running Warehouse has you covered. Just go to the link down in the description of this video, click that and pick up your own pair. It is an affiliate link, which doesn't mean much for you. It just helps out my channel, which I always appreciate. Just throwing that out there. All right, now let's throw up a screen with the pros and the cons. For pros, we have the lightweight upper, which gives you a really dialed in fit. We have the amazing midsole combo of that fuel cell foam with that carbon fiber plate. We have the durable outsole. The fact that this is a really versatile shoe can do anything you want it to. And the price tag. I know some of you might be thinking $200 is a lot of money, but I think for what you're getting here, it's kind of a good deal. For cons, we have that the TC is narrow. It's pretty unstable. And while it's not really an issue for me, the weight might be an issue to some of you. But that's it. All right, guys, well, that concludes my full review of the New Balance Fuel Cell TC. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit that notifications bell down below so you can find out every time I upload a new video about a wonderful, exciting, cool shoe. I have another video for you guys next week, of course. But in the meantime, get out there, only socially distanced, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. See you next time. First, I go through the specs, then we do the... Oh. The Feel Cell TC has a breathable synthetic mesh upper and it's also pretty lightweight. Ugh, no, that's not what I wanna say. It's a lot easier for me to hit high... And I'm well aware that shoes that are tempo... Ugh.